Well, it is six days away from the 4th of July, Michiana. So this morning on Summer Spotlight, I wanted to honor the Stars and Stripes, our American flag. I know for me, sometimes I'm not always doing the utmost respect and honor that I can when interacting with our flag. I immediately think of our 4th of July celebrations. For me and my family, we go down to Lake Wawasee and I see hundreds of thousands of lake flags out on the water. But I wanted to know, are people doing it in the most honorable and respectful way? So of course, I wanted to give you the tools to be able to do this at home. So I brought in Mr. Neil Brioli. He is from the American Legion Post 297 over in New Carlisle. And he knows so much about the flag and I wanted to share his knowledge with you. Thank Thanks you. for waking up with Thank us. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Nice being here. Yes, you as well. So first things first, tell me a little bit about the American Legion and how you got involved. Uh, I've been with the American Legion for over 40 years. Uh, I started out with uh, Post 360 as the VFW in Mishawaka. I moved to uh, Laporte, got involved in that VFW, and then I moved to uh, New Carlisle, and then I eventually ended up with the American Legion and at uh, Michigan City Post 37. And from there, I just stayed with, the, since I moved to New Carlisle, I got involved with the American Legion, been with them since. And I love what you guys were telling, you told me a little bit about your history with Skip and Everett, who sadly have passed on, but you three were kind of our American flag heroes here locally. <laughs> you guys were teaching people how to interact and fold the flag in the best way possible. How did that look? What did you do for organizations locally? Uh, we just basic knowledge on how to take care of the flag and uh, uh, how to, the, to do the respect and, and what it's meant, what it meant. Mm -hmm. to to the, our veterans and us personally and as a vet who did you serve with i served with the navy well first and foremost thank you for your yeah. service i know michiana is thinking the same this morning i did uh i did 24 years okay. i did uh two tours of vietnam and uh did my wife got me back into the navy okay. uh and so i ended up doing reserve time also okay and i retired as a bosom mate chief well, with 24 years experience and the 4th of July here, again, six days away, what are your thoughts and feelings as a veteran when that 4th of July holiday is coming so close? Driving around, I see, or wherever I go, I see a lot of tattered, torn flags. Uh, if you're not going to fly a, a, a clean-looking flag, then you need to bring it down. And you can take it to any of the veterans' organizations, and they will dispose of it properly. Oh, and a part of that knowledge this morning that I'm excited to share with Michiana is actually folding the flag. So I'm going to invite our executive producer, Sean McGarry. He's going to help me out this morning. So we talked a little bit about first properly folding the flag. Okay. Tell for, me a little bit about where we start. First you start, you go uh, take your uh, right, right side, fold it in. Uh, Sean needs to keep the flag taut. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes you'll see at... Uh, 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 at a funeral, uh, there are usually maybe two, three people, more than to two, make three sure people. That Somebody will stand over here to keep the edges nice and tight, but two people are good enough. Okay. You need to keep your side a little taut so that, but don't pull out of her hands. You hear that over there, Sean? <laughs> yeah. So then you want to fold it over again to, okay. to your right. There you go. And keeping that nice and tight. Nice and tight. So then you were telling me about the 13 folds. Yeah, each, each fold has, has a meaning, but we, you know, of course, yeah. we don't have the time to go through all that. So first, to left do, to, right to right on this one. Right. Okay. And that's in that kind of triangle. Yes, then you try to, try to keep it. You have to keep it very somewhat taut so okay. that you'll be able to fold. There and you go. Up? Yes. Okay. Just keep continuing. And kind of keep following that pattern. Yes. How am I doing so far, so far. You're okay. a little, little, a little, sloppy, little sloppy, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if we can go one oh, more. Uh, uh, oh, no. Nope. The triangle. Oh, yeah, the triangle. Okay, good. And also, while we're talking here, because my brain is going, okay, don't set it on the table, but what are the do's and don'ts with your flags at home? Uh, first off, you never want them to touch the ground. Okay. And if, then, and if they're in somewhat uh, little, and they can still be utilized, you can take them, put them in the wash, and... Then, okay, now you can tuck this piece in underneath here. Tuck this piece in yes, here? Yes, Okay, have at it, Sean. <laughs> I'll hold. And, it, and now it looks like the old hats that the revolutionary people oh, wore. Oh, it does. If that's, uh, if that's Almost little, properly. Yeah, almost <laughs> properly. That's not bad. Okay. A little practice. Did pretty good. Thank you, Sean. Thanks, Sean. 
So what you end up with, you almost look like a like yeah, the revolutionary right, yeah. <laughs> you look like a revolutionary hat okay. that they used to wear. And that's really what it ends up b being. But a lot of times uh, the flags, uh, you see in the flagpoles going around town as you drive, they're pretty dis in dis disrepair. Uh, any of the veterans organizations will take them, Including take the flags. Including the American yeah. Legion. Uh, the American Legion, VFW, uh, the Marine Corps League in South Bend here. Uh, there's numerous facilities as you drive around if you want to get rid of the flag, uh, not get rid of them, but to dispose but of to them properly. Do it properly. Okay. Our post usually does a, uh, a ceremony, we just had a ceremony uh, a couple weeks ago where we dispose of flags. And we invite other posts to come and join us so that we can you know, get rid of the flag, uh, do the flag, uh, the, we end up burning them properly. Okay. We go up through a major ceremony for that. And I can just feel that attention to detail from you when we're talking about the flag. Quickly here before we go to commercial, could you tell our viewers, as a veteran, what would you hope that us non-veterans are keeping in mind heading into this holiday weekend? The freedoms that we have without, uh, without our, our generations of fighting for freedom starting through the Revolutionary War, we wouldn't be where we are at today. Well, as we're keeping that all in mind, Neil, thank you so much thank for you. being here thank this you morning for, uh, in me. Michiana. We've got all the information on American Legion Post 297 out of New Carlisle. If you'd like to join, get more information on a flag, maybe pick one up for yourself here ahead of this 4th of July weekend. But currently in the newsroom, I'm Summer Haran with ABC 57 News.